In this video, we will discuss three important parameters related to parabolic reflector antennas. They are f by d ratio, what is meant by f by d ratio, spillover and backlog radiations. Ratio, spillover, and backlog. So, f by d ratio, spillover, backlog, FID ratio, spillover, backlog. Okay, so let us discussing what is this FID ratio, what is this, this one. So FID ratio means, for example, this is my parabolic reflector. This is my parabolic reflector. Okay, so this is my primary end. Okay. So the distance from here to here, it is nothing but the focal point. Okay, so let us take this for example. This is my parabolic. This is my parabolic. Okay, so this is my feed point or source. Okay, so this distance from here to here, from this here to here, we call it as here. Okay, this focal point. And this opening from here to here, we call it as D, diameter of the Aperture B is the diameter of the aperture. Okay. So first let us discuss the first one F by D ratio. F by D ratio. So for example, I am taking three cases here. So this is my open end. Okay. So this is case A. And this is case B. This is case C. Let us A, B, C. Okay. So what I have done in case A? What I have done in case A? Okay. This is opening of case one. This is the opening of the case. Okay. So what happened? If uh, there are three cases, where can I keep my feed point? Okay, so the ratio of focal length f to the diameter of a picture is the other. The ratio of the ratio of focal point and diameter is an another important design constant. Another important design constant for getting a pencil beam. Okay, pencil beam means which is used for generating getting high gain. Pencil beam is nothing but it radiates particularly in that direction only. It radiates particularly in that direction only. So that is called as pencil beam. That is called as pencil beam. Okay, so here where can I keep my active angle? So one at, at, at A, I am keeping my uh, antenna or focal point here. Second point I am keeping on here. And the third point I am keeping my feed point outside the Direct. So one is the three possible cases is the first point is the first point is focal point inside that is A focal point inside the aperture of paraboloid aperture of paraboloid. Okay, so this is A. B is Second one is focal point along the plane, plane of open mouth of open mouth of paraboloid. Open mouth of paraboloid. So this is B. Coming to the C, the C is focal point. Beyond the open mouth of paraboloid, open mouth of 
instead of below. Okay, so these are the three cases. First case, I have kept very uh, inside. Inside, this is my opening. I have kept very inside here. Okay, so this is my F. Yeah. This is my focal point here. Okay. Second case. So this is my F. Yeah. This is my F. Yeah. Okay, so this is your D. This is your D. Okay. The third point, this is my F. So what happened? What will happen if you keep your focal point inside the aperture of the uh, parabola, right? What will happen if you keep the focal point um, along the plane of the open mouth of the parabola? Right? What will happen if you keep the uh, focal point uh, beyond the open mouth? Okay, so in among these three uh, configurations, which configuration will give better pencil beam uh, radiation or high gain? Okay, so let us see here. Let us come to the A. Let us come to the A. What is this A? Here the focal point is inside. Okay, so what is the disadvantage here? It is using, it will transmit the signals. It is using only some portion of the reflector. Okay, it is not utilizing. So, when the focal point is very small, okay, it is when the focal point is very small, the focal point light inside the open mouth of the paraboloid, it is very difficult to obtain uniform illumination because it is utilizing only this portion for reflection. Okay, it can cover only this portion only can cover this portion okay so that's why uh, uh, what is the disadvantage here uh, it is it is difficult it is difficult to obtain uniform uniform it is difficult to obtain uniform illumination it is difficult to obtain uniform illumination if you take your focal point very ne nearer into the earth because it is utilizing only this small portion for uh, again uh, retransmission okay Next. let us take the third case what happen if i keep my focal point beyond arc so much long okay so what happen if i keep some of the rays some of the rays may go like this okay so if some of the rays may go like this, okay, they are not they are not useful. Okay, if they fall on the reflector, then it will send in this direction. Okay, and if they fall on the reflector, they move in this direction. So what is the disadvantage here? Mm, here the disadvantage in C is C time means if you keep your focal point uh, beyond the open mouth of the point is here we are unable to direct. We are unable to direct. We are, we are unable to direct all radiations, all radiations from the source, from the source to reflector, from the source to reflect so here what is the problem here here the problem is it is difficult to, to apply uniform illumination here the problem is we are unable to direct all radiations okay some of the rays will get uh, wasted okay but if you take your focal point along the plane of open mouth of paraboloid this condition this condition will give pencil beam or high gain pencil beam shape pattern so it is always prefer to keep your focal point along the direction along the uh, along the direction okay so uh, it is always so if you have this condition will use the maximum uh, pencil beam radiation pattern. maximum pencil beam radiation pattern okay so that is nothing but so see here so this is one. So here the case one, here the focal point is, for example, this is the open end. Here the focal point is inside the 
para aperture. Okay. So here the f by d ratio is less than uh, d by 4. Okay. But here it is exactly on the direct Here f by d is d by 4. So for practical applications, so it is preferred to that f by d should be ratio is equal to 1 by 4. f by d should be equal to 1 by 4. So always the ratio of f by d should be equal to 1 by 4. So for practical applications, the value of focal length to a diameter always lie in between 0 0.25 and 0.5. So the f by d ratio should be 1 by 4. So 1 by 4. So for practical applications, the value of focal length to diameter ratio lies between 0 0.25 to 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay, so these are all the things regarding f by d ratio, f by d ratio, f by d ratio. Okay, and let us discuss spillover. What is meant by spillover? Let us discuss what is meant by spillover. So, spillover means So spillover means, for example, this is my parabolic reflector. This is my parabolic reflector. Okay. So this is my primary source. This is my primary source. Okay. So here, okay. So I am transmitting here my signals here. And I transmitted compulsively, the signal should get captured and written back like this. Okay. Written back like this. They all move in the same direction. Okay. So, but some of the rays. Uh, here, for example, let us consider this ray falls on the reflector, but this is not reflected back. Okay, so here in nature, few radiations originated from. So, what is meant by sp spillover is few radiations, few radiations originated from, originated from the primary radiator from the primary radiator okay so primary radiator uh, are not practically it is observed it is observed that some of the rays are not uh, fully captured by fully captured by are not fully captured by a reflector are not fully captured by reflector such non captured such non captured rays form spillover such a non captured rays form spillover such a non captured rays form spillover. so this is the definition of spillover clear okay so uh, not all the rays which are generated from this primary antenna are captured by this uh, reflector Okay, so such a non-captured, such a, so practically it is observed that some of the non-cap, some of the rays uh, are not fully captured by the, uh, not fully captured by the reflector. Okay, such a non-captured rays are called as spillover. Such a non-captured rays are called as spillover. Okay, so let, let us discuss the third one. What is the third one? That is fat flow, fat flow. So next one is back loop. What is meant by this back loop? Okay. So here, let us consider this is my parabolic end. This is my parabolic end. Okay. So this is my this is my hornet now. 
this is my or ninety na. Okay, so generally how the takes place, this is my or ninety primary end. Okay, so you see here, the, uh, this is primary end now. It will generate it will falls on the reflector and comes like this. This ray also falls on the reflector and comes like this. And similarly, this ray also falls here and comes like this. Okay. So this ray also falls here and comes like this. Okay. But so this is our primary antenna. We should radiate only in this direction. Okay. But what happened is some, some of the rays. So here, not only radiate in this direction, but it will radiate some back loop radiations like this. Okay, but as you are seeing this, uh, these are unwanted rays which are generated by this primary. These are unwanted rays that are generated. You should radiate only in this direction. You should radiate only in this direction. But it has radiated some of the rays like this. Okay, which are unwanted rays. But as you are seeing here, as you are seeing here, these rays are getting mixed with this original rays. Okay. So, in addition to this, okay, so few radiations originated from uh, primary radiator are absorbed in forward direction. Okay, such radiations get up, uh, are added with desired parallel. So, this is called as, so see here, these are back low, back low radiations. These are also getting added with desired parallel. So, okay, so this is called as back low radiation. This is called as back low radiation so what is the definition hmm. few radiations few what is meant by this back low radiation few radiations originated from primary radiator primary radiator are absorbed in forward direction Forward directions, uh, such radiations, such radiations get added with, get added with desired parallel beam. Desired parallel beam. So, this type of uh, radiations are called as, okay, so this is called as back loop radiations as it originates from the back loop of primary radiator, as it originates from the back loop of, back loop of primary radiator, primary radiator. Obviously, this uh, uh, back loop uh, radiations are unwanted, okay, and they, yeah. and they uh, considerably affect the reflected B, and they continuously affect the Reflected B. Okay. Reflected B. Okay. So, reflected. 